Teaching was definitely something I always had in the back of my mind, specifically because my mother was really big in education. And every day when I didn't want to wake up for school in the morning, she would wake up and say, education equal opportunity. And that's Creole, which means that education equals opportunity. I didn't hear about New York City Urban Fellows until I got to the Bob Graham Center. That's kind of like the hub of like leadership opportunities where you want to go and they'll tell you, hey, you should apply to this, you should apply to this, which they sent me here to work with the mayor's office. They select like 25 top recent graduates who come to New York City and get an opportunity to work in New York City government. As far as location, I just want to be in low income areas where I could really focus and work with kids who really needed a lot of support. And for me, I wanted to get more involved in the classroom and get hands-on and interact with the kids because I felt like my experience at the DOE was great. But for me, it wasn't enough. I wanted to kind of have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with students, and that kind of really inspired me to take the next steps. I'm always reflecting. I think that's one important thing about teaching is like you always have to reflect and to think about what did I do wrong, right? And, and as I'm like teaching, I'm still reflecting. I'm like, oh, that didn't go too well. I have to try something different tomorrow. I came into the Bob Graham Center eager, super passionate, and those are kind of things that stayed the same, but in terms of things that changed, I think that I have a different perspective on what it means to be a servant leader. I went from being an undergrad and thinking about service to be first about me, then about others. And as a teacher, it's a job where a lot of my successes depend on the successes of students. If they're not growing, if they're not learning, then a lot of what I do doesn't matter. It's really difficult. It takes someone who has a lot of patience to be in this work, and it's probably one of the hardest things I've done. Those are kind of some of the things that I've heard. It's like, it's gonna be difficult, but it was really meaningful. And like that last piece of it being meaningful is kind of like what still grounds me and keeps me motivated to wake up every day and to really push these kids to think more and more about education.